welcome to all net as friends the question anatomy part concerned read the following statement about vascular bundle in option a in root xylem and phloem in a vascular bundle are arranged in alternate manner along different radii yes xylem and phloem on different radii so the vascular bundles which are radial present in monocot root as well as the dicot root that is the right in b conjoint closed vascular bundle do not possess cambium yes in between the xylem and the phloem there is no cambium the vascular bundle described as collateral conjoint closed and it is present in monocot stem dicot leaf as well as monocot leaf right third c in open vascular bundle cambium is present in between the xylem and phloem yes in between the xylem and phloem in vascular bundle of the dicot stem having a strip of the cambium it is a fascicular cambium intrafascicular cambium otherwise it is called fascicular vascular cambium it is completely primary so the vascular bundle is said to be open collateral conjoint open present in dicot stem it is also right and d vascular bundles of dicotyl and stem possess endor protoxylum yes in case of the stem protoxylum surrounds medulla and it is endor condition otherwise the medulla surrounded by protoxylum it is endor condition if medulla surrounded by metaxylum it is exor condition because protoxylum facing outside so in case of this stem protoxylum surrounds medulla it is endor it is also right and e in monocotyledonous root usually there are more than 6 xylem bundles present yes more than 6 xylem bundles present it is a polyarch in case of the dicot root it is a tetrarch in case of the monocot root it is polyarch in case of the dicot root scanty medulla or no medulla here it is wide medulla surrounded by metaxylem so in this polyarch condition as per the monocot root concern it is also right so in question and in this answers all answers are right how nta is going to respond to give an answer to this we have to wait and see all options which are right